Alright, what is up you guys, and of course as always, welcome back to another episode of Who Wants Really Better. And in this week, as you guys can see, we're covering Obstagoon versus Meanwhile, the apex offensive dog types of Generation 8. Um, a quick story and a rundown. Um, I really wanted to cover Meanwhile since the series was beginning, but it really was nothing like it. The stab combinations together with high speed here really, really has no other like it, which is why it's always been a viable Pokemon since introduction, and it never got it really bad. And Obstagoon is kind of the same thing, there is really nothing like Obstagoon. One could argue that maybe Aegislash with King Shield could be, in essence, defined by their offensive responses, but offensively they work differently, a lot differently really even. They are, in essence, the perfection of what a dark type is supposed to be for this generation. They represent the very best of what they do and while they aren't that much alike, they do tend to cover each other's statistics, which means that you either choose Obstagoon or Meanwhile or Bishop actually in a Smogon OU environment. So that's why these two are in Smogon BL because there are aspects to consider one over the other. But in a league aspect, they do a lot of things right. While they do different things, what they do are among the best that they can do compared to other Pokemon. They are simply as standard, the apex dog types of this generation. So with that said, I'm going to go over, of course, as always, their stats, move pool, and overall niches, and in this case, not so much niches and expertise to find out which one of these two that really are better. And with that said, as always, going to cover the Pokemon introduced first. Which in this time being Meanwhile. So Meanwhile, the Dark and Ice combination. Most likely one of the worst defensive type in the game. We have immunity to psychic, resist, dark, ghost and ice, but we're weak to bug, fairy fire, steel and rock. And very weak, and I mean very, very weak to finding. So there are no mag punches or vacuum waves will be ever taken here. But the dark and ice combination as offensive type in is potentially among the best in the game, mainly because the most viable Pokemon in any Smogun OU environment that ever has been has always had a weakness to Dark or Ice. So it's really strange to see that Miwa's effectiveness is based on his stab combination and his stat distribution. It should be covered here, its defensive merits are really low, HP at 70, defense 65, special defense at 85, which in theory would be fair. But it, yeah, it, there is no defense to be taken here. Special attack is unusable, should be unusable. But then we have what I think is its coup de gras, and probably the thing that makes me well so good, and the Pokemon it really is, and it is in its 120 attack stat and its 125 in its speed here. There is basically nothing, or really n next to nothing, that is speedier than me while, which means it gets usually the most offensive Marys out of it. 120 at base attack is uh, quite fair, and um, I think at this current generation there are less than 10 Pokemon speedier, meanwhile, which speaks to its benefits. Um, abilities in pressure and pickpocket. Yeah, pickpocket might be usable to an extent, but pressure is usually what you see, and it's still something that isn't benefiting the Pokemon that much, really. But pressure could be capitalized by actually stalling out high damage output moves to be able for it to survive for a longer time using something like protect and stall out pp but overall yeah i mean choose choose your poison here you don't use it for its ability you use it for its offensive merit so with that said what type of offensive merits does this pokemon have well let's check that move pool out so we all got quite a broad move pool and while all moves aren't represented here since actually the pokemon home moves like curse and whatnot aren't here it is because the relevancy are quite low and I don't feel there are aspects to consider with those moves. I really want to have that covered in case you miss some of these moves. Uh, that said, set of moves, we have Nasty Plot, never use that. Agility, which could be usable with an adamant set. And then we have Soul Stance, which is your main setup move for most of the time. Uh, when it comes to offensive moves overall, it's Dark Stab, I mean, you got the usual stuff, you got Fro Chop and stuff like that, but you don't, don't care about them ever because you have Knock Off, and Knock Off is the only move you should consider because of the damage output and the stab combination, what that gives to the Pokemon. When it comes to Ice moves, we have Ice Cool Crash, we have Ice Punch, and we have Priority and Ice Shard. 
which is incredible in this generation. It also got Icicle Spare, which means that it could deal potentially with Sash leads rather well. So yeah, this Pokemon works as a potential an anti-lead. You don't see that too often, and you definitely don't expect an anti-lead to be this defined as this Pokemon really is. Because as an anti-lead, it really covers too many grounds to even be considered. What if it isn't? Because you got Taunt, we got Fake Out, and we got Priorities, and you... All of these jazzes that just makes Meanwhile a very, very complex Pokemon. Yes, it doesn't have all the filler moves, but the moves it gets are quite right. It even gets another priority in Quick Attack, and you know, for the potential fairies that want to check it, they all have to be wary about the Poison Jab or Metal Claw. Don't, don't use that. But overall, Meanwhile is really, really alright. As this is a Pokemon that are excelling in its way of setup sweeping, uh, anti-lead and revenge killing. It is just, it. it's not among the best, it is probably the best, but at least top three for me, as it's a Pokemon that haven't been redefined since its introduction generation 4, which in its own right kind of perplexes me, as I do believe I, I would like to see a in, reinterpretation of this stab combination, but as it stands, it, it is always relevant that its stab combination together with offensive prowess are so tough for so many Pokemon to deal with, so yeah, it's great to see that Meanwhile is, even in Generation 8, just up there as one of the upbeat, defining, offensive proudness Pokemon there is. And I think that's incredible. But with all this said, you know, we still have Obstagoon to go through. And Obstagoon has only had one generation behind it, yet it is as relevant as any other Pokemon is Mogan OU right now. Let's see why. So straight off the bat, the Dark and Normal typing was the type that was introduced in Generation... Uh, Seven with Alolan Radicate, and that Pokemon never left a mark, and has a lot to do with that the standard distribution just wasn't there, even though it had fair abilities. Obstagoon not only resolved this, but most likely redefined it, uh, because the immunity in Ghost and Psychic, together with a resistance to Dark, isn't that impressive when the weaknesses are Bug and Fairy, and a very weakness to Finding. Yeah, it is. Roughly having the same type of issue as me, while well, it is that you don't want to take a Mac Punch or a Vacuum Wave or a First Impression in the first place. But unlike me, while well, we actually have stats here that could potentially soak them. HP at 9 Creek, Defense at 101, which is incredible. I do believe there are very few Dark Pokemon like that. And Special Defense is 81, which is quite fair. But Special Attack, much like me, while well, it is low, it is 60, which means don't use it ever. <laughs> and then we have a 19 its attack, which is a that impressive, and a speed tier 95, which is it's not impressive in its own right, but for a dark type that is actually quite high, and for a normal type I'll also set as quite high. So yeah, it is as offensive or as speedy as meanwhile, but it sure as hell is tanky enough to pull those off. And um it has actual abilities that kinda complicates things here because yeah, it isn't as offensive enough, absolutely, but this Pokemon not only did get Defiant, which boosts your attack by 2 if you are your lower stats, it also got Reckless that boosts your moves like Double Edge with 30% uh, damage output, which is also great, but yeah, the only ability ever worth talking about with Obstagoon is Guts, because Guts makes this Pokemon really, really dangerous. It boosts its attack by 50% or given a Choice Band boost when your stat is and yeah, you know, it goes without saying, Obstagoon all of a sudden becomes a force in its own right. Knight to base attack, yeah, it's not that dangerous, but now boost that by choice band and being able to switch up moves. Yeah, Obstagoon is a very, very scary mon all of a sudden because it's so defensive. So it actually don't mind being status with a burden or like that. It can still hold its own, it can still soak a hit and retaliate. And since it now it's considered more of attack with offensive prowess, now it boosts in that 50%. 95 base speed becomes all of a sudden really, really, really high. So, Obstagoon, like I said, there is really no other Pokemon like this, as it's defensive and offensive at the same time, and it doesn't have the usual slow speed of a tank Pokemon. No, this is a very, very fast tanky Pokemon, and Obstagoon just really thrives right now in this Smoke and OU environment, but also in leagues because. All of these three abilities are super relevant depending on what role you want to fill. And it seems it actually is able to fill most of them quite efficiently. 
Funny enough, though, when it comes to Obstagoon, its move pool is for only one generation. It is very large, like so large that I really don't know where to begin. But I'll do my best. <laughs> First and foremost, this Pokemon got Obstruct, which is a move that works much like Protect, but if you attack it, you lower your defenses by two. So in contrast to King Shield, instead of losing attack, he loses defense, which could be really, really, really dangerous. And for this Pokemon, absolutely, you are just putting yourself in a corner by doing that. And um, this Pokemon being able to retaliate through something like that and activate this Flame Orb, that combination is so incredible that it, you know, it needs no other introduction. Uh, when it comes to setup move, it doesn't have all the moves that are necessary. If anything, I'll just say that I'll get one move of relevance, and that is bulk up. Now, I see our defense, and I see people use our defense in counter with body press. And it's a fair combination, but bulk up if you want setup, I guess that's the best way of going about it. Uh, also, seen when it comes to a supporting move, with switch a to get it with flame orb, because you can activate your flame orb and then actually retaliate by switch a and give your opposing Pokemon a flame orb. That combination is so mean, and I love it. <laughs> I think it's cool that this Pokemon actually... We have Pokemon that kind of use it as a niche, but this Pokemon use it as a... It, it feels natural for its environment, and the way it works to actually be able to pull those things off, and I think it's great. Uh, when it comes to um, potential other moves, I mean, we have to feel the usual stuff, like... Does it get knockoff? Yes, it gets knockoff. And that, that's it. Like, yeah, it gets Night Slash, but it gets, knock, it gets knockoff. You know, come on. Uh, <laughs> and then we have, when it comes to filler moves in its normal base stab, we have something like Body Slam, which is right and double edge. Uh, or I mean, Body Slam, yeah. Body Slam, I said Body Slam. And, uh, but you're always going to use Facade if you're using the Gut Set because that's one of the base power plus stab. Yeah, I mean, there is, there is really nothing like it. Uh, and then we have the filler moves, which should be mentioned. It gets close combat. Um, super relevant, because there are very few Pokemon that deals with its stab combination head-on. One of the few that would like to try are the Steel-type. And yeah, what do you know? Close combat. Sorry, boy. It's GG. Uh, and then we have the Punch move and the Fire move, Thunder Punch and um, Ice Punch. Great fillers. Like, overall, th that's incredible. So, one would think, yeah, if, if all these things kind of come together... I guess it needs something for potential fairies, right? Does it get something like Iron Head or Poison Jab? No, it gets Iron Tail. And, and, and that's plenty. <laughs> that's very much plenty. It also has private moves, and the private one here is Parting Shot. Uh, you'd be surprised to know that it's quite efficient, and uh, is one of the moves that, um, to put in perspective, uh, Parting Shot is if you feel there are the fine defensive Pokemon to be able to come on this Pokemon, yeah, you can actually, you can get out. And uh, it, it's a predictions game, absolutely, but since Obstagoon is bulky enough to pull those off, I don't see that as a potential issue. Like, if anything, I think that's quite great and get it. And it also gets a status move in Thunder Wave. So overall, I mean, Obstagoon's stat combination and you know, all the moves it gets here that are open it wide open for anything that you could possibly think it would want to do. Um, it is one of the few Pokemons I've experienced that gets all the things right, and it seems its that combination together with its abilities are complemented really well with uh, its move pulls it gets. So overall for me, Obstagoon is so, so incredible for being just a first generation Pokemon. So what that means for Obstagoon is that, you know, besides the gut sets, which will always be the only relevant set for the likes of Smoke and OU, when it comes to leagues, due to all of this great combination, you can see something with a Salt Vest with Guts, or even a Scarf set with Defiance, or a Bandit set with Reckless and just capitalize on the double-edged output. Reckless right now aren't the best abilities for it, it doesn't have all the things that makes it better. Um, we'd like to see some like high jump kick and maybe we got in there, but the fine and guts are definitely two abilities that are well used in a league aspect. And since Absolute got a fair speed here, it could choose to be speedier or bulkier and deals with the tanky Pokemon. It could be forced to be fending off, and the parting shot really complements that in case things go sour. So overall, Absolute is incredible in just just about anything, and uh, I'm really happy to see a Pokemon that are introduced in the generation without all the Mewtwo still has such a high relevance in the game right now. 
So as I said in the beginning of the video, it will come down to more of personal preferences because as well as you guys can understand already, these two are apex, they are the expertise of the combination it represents. And what do you know, like <laughs> when there are nothing like it, how do you define which one that are really better? It is a personal preference and with that in mind, I'm gonna go with the route that I think makes most sense for me as a player and um, leveling back and forth. Meanwhile, you know, speedy revenge killing, all those jazz, I mean, it's a defined role that I think always is sought after and very hard to replicate, while Opsigoon has all the defensive responses that could ever been ever created and the guts really work for in his favor. But I have one issue with that, and it's a small issue, but I think it's an issue that could be um, looked upon when it comes to the likes, for example, Kunk Elder, that if you have the guts and aren't speedy speedy, you want priority. If Opsigoon would have got something like Sucker Punch or Extreme Speed, it wouldn't have been the competition like ever, but right now Obsigun doesn't have that, so it has to rely in guts and speed and that makes it, even though it is bulky, it makes it less bulky for that environment because you need to be absolute maximizing your speed to everything. You can't even go adamant here, you can't risk that. And meanwhile, will always be safe to use and has priority, so the anti-responsive towards meanwhile it doesn't necessarily have to worry because of Fake Out and because of Ice Shard. So, while I think Obstagoon is incredible, there are arguments here to say that Meanwhile is more reliable, and for me, that's worth more in this type of environment. It doesn't mean that Obstagoon is bad because it really isn't. It shines as one of the best implementation of the Generation 8, and one of the best implementation of a dark and normal type, really, of each typing, really. <laughs> so, I love Obstagoon, I think it's one of the best Pokemon ever introduced in a new generation, but meanwhile just got a head start here, and uh, until we see something like, like I said, Sucker Punch or Extreme Speed or Obstagoon, meanwhile, in my book at least, gonna be slightly better. Uh, so with that said, what do you guys think? you think meanwhile or Obstagoon are better? Feel free to discuss this down below, I really love to see what you guys are thinking. And with that said, thank you for watching, and join us next episode for this matchup.